Israel's military continued its latest raid of Tulkarem refugee camp Wednesday in the northern West Bank, digging up roads and patrolling the area. The operation in Tulkarem began Tuesday afternoon. Two Palestinians have since been killed by Israeli fire, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The raid comes amid a series of operations across the northern West Bank by the Israeli army, targeting refugee camps in Tulkarem, Jenin and Tubas. Earlier Wednesday, an Israeli airstrike killed five people in Tubas according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The Israeli military said it was targeting militants in the northern city. The health ministry confirmed the toll but does not say whether those killed by Israeli fire are militants or civilians. Israel has stepped up military raids across the territory in recent weeks and says it is working to dismantle militant groups and prevent attacks. Palestinians say such operations are aimed at cementing Israel's seemingly open-ended military rule over the territory. Violence has flared across the West Bank since the Israel-Hamas war erupted in Gaza last October. More than 680 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli fire in the territory since then, the health ministry says. More than 140 Ukrainian drones targeted multiple Russian regions overnight, including Moscow and surrounding areas, killing at least one person, officials said Tuesday. A woman died and three people were injured in the town of Ramenskoy, just outside Moscow, where drones hit two multi-story residential buildings and started fires, Moscow Region Governor Andrei Vorobyev said. Five residential buildings were evacuated due to falling drone debris, Vorobyev said. The incident was one of the biggest drone attacks on Russian soil in the two-and-a-half-year conflict. The attack prompted the authorities to temporarily shut down three airports just outside Moscow, Nukovo, Domodedovo, and Zukovsky. A total of 48 flights were diverted to other airports, according to Russia's civil aviation authority, Rosaviatsia. It was the second massive Ukrainian drone attack on Russia this month. On September 1, the Russian military said it intercepted 158 Ukrainian drones over more than a dozen Russian regions in what Russian media described as the biggest Ukrainian drone barrage since the start of the conflict in 2022. Russia, meanwhile, has pummeled Ukraine with missiles, glide bombs and its own drones, killing over 10,000 civilians, according to the United Nations. Ukraine has invested a lot of effort in developing domestic drone production, extending the drone's range, payload and uses. It has increasingly used drone blitzes to slow Russia's advances, disrupt Russian society and poke the Kremlin.
вышки верхняя верхняя вышка в середине крайняя вот вот этот дом Здравствуйте. О, спасибо. 